Qdoba is 100% better than Chipotle. I said what I said. Good morning, every or good morning, USA. I gotta. So before we get into the into the main topic of this video, um, right now I'm actually. <clears throat> it's more of my voice. Your boy actually has a little meeting with Chad, so I gotta take care of that first. And once that's all done, then we can move on with our day here. You see that? That's me. And I'm using this as the, the camera for it. Hey man, if I ever need to do some business meetings, I'm cooking. Like, it's it's so crisp. Like, whatever you guys are seeing right now, it's what the camera's seeing. Either way, we're gonna be doing the meeting soon. Let's get it. Alright, see you later, Chad. Meeting done. A little bit of valuable information in that meeting. It sucks that, I mean, at the moment, like, I'm not gonna be able to go to the LA tour that they were uh, coaxing me to, to go to. Even prior to the accident, I really had, I didn't really have much time to start saving up, all that kind of stuff, because it was, I don't know, I think they're doing it in, like, like a couple weeks. Definitely had no time to start saving, but with, with the accident, definitely no time to start saving up, so definitely wouldn't be a good idea. But apparently, it would be a good idea for me to go there. I look like someone that would be successful in L.A., is what he was trying to insinuate. Cool. <laughs> okay. Why is post shoot depression a 2K? You know what? We're just gonna keep up with the with the numbers just for fun. But honestly, the channel's doing really well, man. Which I thank you guys for genuinely because uh, there was a time prior to the now it's got a lot of views. Wait, what? I was gonna say prior to the uh, prior to the shield shoot, uh, a lot of the videos were like really dead. I'm glad that it's picking up now. I mean, yeah, overall, like, thank you guys so much for just, you know, the, the constant love with the videos. So today, I'm gonna be working on, uh, like, most of the modeling stuff here. Or, uh, sorry, uh, most of the orientation stuff. By the way, let's go get ready for work. All right, boys and girls, so uh, a note to self, uh, make sure to always uh, take out your contacts when you're uh, uh, prior to sleeping. I literally forgot to take it off last night, and um, now, I mean, I'm not suffering or anything, but it's, it's my contacts is taking just a little bit of time to unblur. We're gonna go get gas, but here's the topic of this video. As you guys can see in the title, I probably started a war in the comments. Or not. I may have started a war, I may not have, I don't know. I felt like it's perfect timing with all the with all the controversy that controversy what controversy that Chipotle is getting under right now. It's a fun, perfect little timing to, to get this video out for you guys because I, I have a pretty strong opinion towards this, okay? Let, let, let me just get my point out there clearly enough. If, if it wasn't obvious to you, stupid marks. That's an MJF shout out, by the way. It's an MJF reference, all right? Leave me alone. If it wasn't obvious enough, Qdoba is 100% better than Chipotle. I said what I said. I would tell you guys the reasons, but I feel like it's more important to show you guys the reasons. I would like to show you guys why I think Qdoba is better. I forgot it's on the right side. All right, let's try that again. The wind is crazy, man. What is going on? May or may not be the greatest time to do this right now because uh, it's freaking 12.06. 12, 12.10, whatever. We're gonna be getting two bowls, one from each place for two reasons. Uh, one, it's just because it's the only thing I get when it comes to, you know, Kidobo or Chipotle, Pancheros, whatever. And two, that's kind of the whole controversy with the with the whole Chipotle stuff. Apparently, they skimp out on the portions. Now, they're changing it a lot because uh, every, <laughs> every time you whip out a camera in front of them while they're serving you, apparently, they give you more. But um, just reminds me of that clip. Uh, who was it? Was it the Adrian that did it? <laughs> it's so dumb. Instead of being a normal person and just uh, uh, whipping out his phone, he decides to whip out a whole... <laughs> a whole movie set? He had lighting, he had a mic, he had a camera, he had like two cameramen. <laughs> I, I, honestly, I should pull that one day. But instead of me having a camera in front of them, I think it's the best idea to keep it like the least amount of bias. And I, I'll just bring in the food here, just so they don't give me extra portions or whatever, because I know damn well that if I, you know, if I bring out the camera and stuff, like I, I know they're gonna give me more por portions. If they're gonna do that for an iPhone, they're gonna 100% gonna do it for a 4K camera. All right, flex. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> Alright, what's the lyrics on tight? Right? You know you really made me hate myself Had to stop before I break myself Should've broke it up to date myself You didn't deserve me at all Something like that Night after night you fall asleep on me I'm praying that I don't go 
back to Hawaii. I do it for you. All right, Kidoba acquired. All right, uh, Chipotle time. Chipotle has been acquired. Okay, so I kept a constant. I made sure th to get pretty much every, like, well, not pretty much. I made sure to get everything, like, the same. Let's do a quick little food review. Kidoba versus Chipotle. Even though I already have an opinion on this, I want to make sure to keep it as uh, unbiased as possible because, uh, you know, I, I, it's, it's fair. It's fair. This is the Chipotle bowl. Obviously, their, their cheese is banging. Let's see how much uh, this thing costs. According to them, a steak bowl is ten thirty-five. A queso blanco on top of it, one forty-five. So that totals up to twelve sixty-nine. Twelve sixty-nine, ladies and gentlemen, for Chipotle's uh, steak bowl with cheese. Now let's look at the Kidoba one. A steak bowl is eleven twenty-five, and they don't even charge for the for the for the cheese grand total was 1322 however i put a dollar and 13 tip on there i think it was like 10 percent or some shit. so in reality the total would be 1209 now obviously the thing that uh, chipotle was kind of like dunked on for is the portions let's talk about the portions here so this it feels heavy it's got a little bit of heft to it definitely please take my word for it i literally have no like reason to lie for this but i don't have a scale i could go home and grab it but you know i got work it's not like the most insane difference but there is a difference this is heavier without a shadow of a doubt here let me weigh it on my right hand just so it's even okay okay yeah this is heavier 100 percent. chipotle step up your game man i forgot to mention earlier but for the pricing that's 1-0 for uh for kidoba and for the weight and uh, the the proportions that's that's 2-0 for kidoba i would try these right now but i don't have the i don't have a fork with me why didn't i get one all right let's go ahead to work you already know what part of this thing if you want it girl come and get it all this is here for you oh jesus christ hold on you don't have to sing it you realize that right okay, well well i want to okay leave me alone i don't know the night is fading This song feels like I would have to go like a hundred miles an hour on the intersection, you feel me? Alright, uh. Tonight the music seems so loud I wish that we could lose this crowd Maybe it's better this way We hurt each other with the things we want to say I said you can call me Aldwin Baby Well, I look at that, was so cringe, my fault uh. But don't you worry, don't you, don't worry, girl what about me and you together? Something that could really last forever. Yeah, y'all better appreciate the commitment here. So I, I'm, I'm taking a break right now, and I'm using this break as a time to review some banging food for you guys. So let's talk about the most, I'd say arguably the most important part about, uh, you know, food experience i guess you know pricing and portion that could be just as important as you know the flavor but i think most important flavor all right so let's let's dig deep when it comes to the food here so this is the chipotle bowl let me tell you guys in detail what i have white rice pinto beans steak queso pico de gallo corn and also uh and also some cheese here without further ado let's uh let's dig into it oh yeah that specific bite the cheese is overpowering very nice oh yeah if you guys kind of got like the undertone that i i am a i'm a chipotle hater absolutely not i'm not a chipotle hater at all i love chipotle it's good i just think it's not as good as what people make it out to be i think it's a great product however it's it's honestly a little overrated especially if you compare it to the other places that do the same thing steak is good the steak is as fresh as it could be i literally saw them like chop it up and stuff and you know it was it was a new batch the cheese is good the rice the rice is good a little mushy but it's good very good. Pico de Gallo hits a spot. I feel like if I had to rate this out of 10, compared to like the worst like Mexican I've ever tried, compared to, you know, the greatest I've ever tried. This right here, a solid 7. I feel like the steak could have had a little bit more flavor into it. I, I do like that, like some of it's like, a little burnt. Adds a bit of texture to it. I feel like with Chipotle, they use the other things as the flavor for the for the protein. That doesn't mean that uh, the, 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 the protein can't be flavored as well. You know what? We'll bump it to 8. Some points taken off because the I feel like the steak could have been flavored more. I feel like the rice could have been cooked better corn could have had a little bit more flavor yeah we'll do eight out of ten very good now we got the the, the chipotle or no not chipotle kidoba oh damn no i was i was literally about to say this has been sitting for like an hour now because i had to work and stuff but um didn't really have time to eat this is kind of a fair comparison because if it's good fresh 
that's one thing. If it's good, not as fresh, that's another, you know what I mean? The rice is good. Let's get into the meat and potatoes of this compared to the steak here. Look at that, man, man, look at that. The queso with the steak. Now right here, queso with the steak, a little bit of queso in there. Yeah, I don't know, man. Let me get a couple more bites before I give my like final thoughts. I'll say that it's really close. I'll have to give the edge to Kidoba though. It's really good. I wonder what kind of corn they use for um, Chipotle. Like a white corn? I don't really know. Dude, what the hell, man? Kidoba just has more flavor. See, this is what I was talking about here. With the whole Chipotle stuff, they're using like the other ingredients as the the, the flavoring for for the steak. Now, when I mentioned that uh, the steak should be flavored too, this is doing what I was talking about, and it's perfection. The steak is just better. Now that's it, man. It's a, it's a 3 0 lead. What I would rate Kidoba out of ten, I would definitely rate it a nine point five. At the moment, the big three that I know: Pancheros, Kidoba, and Chipotle. Let's think about this in rapper perspective, all right? Kidoba's Kendrick. Drake is Chipotle. And that leaves J. Cole with Pancheros. I could do a part two, but I still think it's better than Chipotle. Walmart took a little longer than expected, but you know what? The most important thing, we're done. We gotta hit leg day tonight, ladies and gentlemen. So, very excited today. Yes. So, I guess a little fun fact. Um, it's been a minute since like the, the group chat has like said anything and stuff. As I mentioned, busy with our own lives. Today, I was working and I, I, I look at my phone for a second and I see like 30 notifications from the group chat. I'm like, what's going on? What happened? Here's what happened. So Pierce uh, and maybe a couple others uh, got a got a got an email from from Shields showing us like a preview of like or like a sneak peek of the commercial. Yeah, I don't know exactly who got it, but um, the only thing I know is that I didn't get it could be an agency thing i don't know i don't know what other factors it could be but they got the email for the sneak peek i saw the sneak peek kind of fire man kind of fire i would show you guys but unfortunately we were told not to show like anyone or not send it to anyone so just to err on the side of caution i'm not gonna show you guys but just know that it's amazing surprisingly i got a good amount of parts on it so hey take my words with a grain of salt because like i said it, it's just a sneak peek the way i take that is like a, it's a rough draft so either the final commercial could be exactly what i just saw or it could be something completely different or somewhere in between. Either way, just kind of cool that I, you know, got to see like a like a nice little rough draft of what they were cooking up. I will say though, there was no like shots at all of, of the of the first day that I was there. It was only on the second day and like the, the day that I wasn't there. Interesting stuff. Who knows? The, the first day shoot could be put in like a different commercial. Saw the commercial. Very nice. W in the chat. Before we get into the singing, the move now, I'm gonna drop off some things home really quickly and then after head to the gym. All that kind of jazz. There's nothing much I can do. I'm aware. There's no one quite like you. You're one of one. One in a million. All right. This is going to be a smooth transition, but we're going to go into. I mean, I got to drop off this stuff. All right. I'll be right back. Whoa. Baby, I've been up all night. I won't sleep and I'm not tired Thing, it's my one and only wish It's such a crazy way to be You know you really made me hate myself Had to stop before I break myself Should've broke it up to date myself You didn't deserve me at all At all At all One last time it's time. Not show off my legs because I don't, I don't I'm not gonna take off my pants, but we're gonna show off the top a little bit. Oh yeah, come on, baby. We're chunking up a little bit, like just a tad bit, nothing crazy. Oh yeah, looking really good. W in the chat for this uh, for this meal. Okay. Yes, I'm. I'm still watching it. I guess to kind of circle back to the main topic of this video, does the point Qdoba is better than Chipotle still stand after you know having these guys sit for a while and not as fresh anymore? Let's try it. Crap, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Point still stands. Over there. Really. 